in an electrifying clash between Marcos Maidana and Jesus Soto Perez, both fighters showcased their grit and determination in an intense battle inside the ring. The fight starts with both fighters coming out swinging. Maidana takes control early on, landing powerful hooks and straight rights, pushing Keres back against the ropes. Keres shows resilience, absorbing the punishment and firing back with his own combinations. Maidana continues to dictate the pace, unleashing a barrage of punches, mixing up his shots to the head and body. Keres tries to counter, but Maidana's relentless pressure keeps him on the defensive. Keres manages to land a few clean shots, but Maidana's power proves to be the difference. Keres comes out with renewed energy, finding success with his jab and effectively countering Maidana's aggression. The round becomes a back and forth exchange, with both fighters landing significant blows. Maidana's power shots leave a mark on Keres, but the latter refuses to back down. Maidana shifts gears and starts targeting Keres, body, digging in with powerful hooks. Keres shows incredible resilience, absorbing the punishment and firing back with hooks of his own. The crowd erupts as both fighters engage in a thrilling toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Maidana's power begins to take its toll on Keres, as he lands a devastating right hand that sends Keres tumbling backward. Sensing an opportunity, Maidana goes for the finish, unloading a fury of punches. Keres manages to survive the onslaught and survives the round. Keres, aware of his situation, comes out swinging in an attempt to turn the tide. He lands some clean shots that momentarily halt Maidana's aggression. However, Maidana quickly regains control, establishing his dominance with powerful hooks and uppercuts. Maidana continues to punish Keres with his relentless assault. Keres shows tremendous heart, refusing to go down despite the mounting damage. Both fighters trade heavy blows, but Maidana's power and accuracy give him the edge. With the fight slipping away, Keres digs deep and goes on the offensive. He lands some clean shots that momentarily stun Maidana. However, Maidana quickly regains his composure and takes control once again, landing powerful blows that leave Keres villain. Maidana smells blood and goes for the knockout. He unloads a barrage of punches, punishing Keres against the ropes. Keres, battered and bruised, refuses to give up and continues to fight back, but Maidana's onslaught proves too much. Keres, knowing he needs a miracle, comes out swinging, but Maidana's power and accuracy are simply too overwhelming. Maidana lands a devastating right hand that sends Keres crashing to the canvas. The referee steps in and stops the fight, declaring Marcos Maidana the winner by knockout. In a thrilling showdown between two warriors, Marcos Maidana emerges victorious, showcasing his power and aggression. Jesus Soto Keres displayed incredible heart and resilience but ultimately couldn't withstand Maidana's oh my relentless assault. Now Soto Karas working on Maidana on the ropes, but Maidana able again to circle away and come back with a combination of his own. Terrific action here between Jesus Soto Karas and Marcos Maidana. The second round of this welterweight bout is in the books. Between Jesus Soto Karas and Marcos Maidana, and a quick start as Maidana rocks the head of Soto Karas. Karas comes back with a right, but it's Maidana getting the better of the exchange to kick off this third round. I'll tell you, I don't, I don't think Soto Karas knows how Maidana fighter from Argentina last week on Showtime. Lucas Matisse, who scored a terrific exciting fight. And we're seeing another Argentine who's terrific now. And I know a lot of people would like to see Matisse and Maidana and Soto Karas again fighting in that proverbial phone booth. And it's Maidana teeing off on Soto Karas. has landed some very good power punches, but not like Maidana has. About 30 seconds ago, you can see Robert Garcia's teachings in there. Yeah, five. Last minute of the third round. Maidana working the jab. 
Soto Caras is a rugged, resilient fighter. You see evidence of that here. But he is taking a lot of punishment from Maidana. Straight left from Soto Caras. Attacks the body. He's fought as a lefty here for a while now. Now he's actually throwing some good combat. Left hand to the body by Soto Caras. Final 10 seconds of the third stanza. This welterweight bout is going around four. And a quick flurry at the end and some extra curricular activity. Soto Caras taking umbrage with Maidana's action at the bell. That, that was Marcos Maidana came right out throwing an overhand lead right. As Paulie mentioned, variety to his attack. Then he went right back to the jab, straight right hand, punching after the bell. And uh, there was a lot of tension. 47, Soto Caras has a tremendous chin. Wow. Felt he was hit behind the head, but uh, so far taking the best of Marcos Maidana in this one. Yeah, Soto Caras is a seasoned pro, man. You can tell he's staying in there, you know, he's trading fire. He's got a great chin, but even the best of chins, if he keeps getting hit with this kind of power, it could wear him down. And referee Kenny Bayless calling for the break, and again, some extracurricular activity. Bayless sending Soto Caras to the neutral corner, and he is taking a point away from Marcos Maidana. If they keep it up, someone is going to get disqualified. And Soto Karas now swarming Maidana. Maidana keeping him at bay with a jab, but gets caught with a one-two combination. Lead left hook by Maidana. In two fighters' head points taken away at the same point. Here comes Karas. This and now a sense of urgency after the point deduction. In each corner, Soto Karas has Maidana along the ropes. Wow, he he's was energized. Mad. He's mad. He's angry. Look at Maidana rolling, though. Look at that. Yeah. Final minute of the fourth round. Soto Caras trying to find Maidana. Bobbing and weaving, and Maidana comes back with a one-two of his own. Mexican Independence Day weekend. Straight right hand by Maidana. It's being billed as knockout kings, and if this action keeps up, you never know who is going to be the six wins by way of knockout. And of course, Maidana with an incredible knockout ratio, 28, of breaking them apart. Each have had one point deducted, and they almost came to blows at the bell. The round by a little bit. Round five underway, and the replay you saw Soto Caras sport what can best be described as an incredulous smile when he had the point deducted. Gets caught on the jaw with that left hand, and again, this is a fire fight here in round five. And now, with a different attack, Maidana is going... Unofficial Showtime scoring through four rounds. Al Bernstein, Steve Farhood, and Pauli Malignaggi. Farhood has it even. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, Marcos. I mean, they're, they're fired up for this match. Oh, huge left hook by Cross. A very appreciative crowd here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Caras uh, getting off more punches. Yes, Soto Caras. Here in round five, showing his determination. Maidana working the body again. At Caras with a one-two combination. Final 10 seconds of the fifth round. And again, they exchange blows. What a fight in Las Vegas tonight. And again, some, these two don't want to stop at the bell. A very heated encounter between Soto Caras and Maidana and some gamesmanship from Maidana. At the, at the end of the round, Maidana throwing those haymakers. Kenny Bayless is there and Maidana throws a straight Another. right hand. Now, I got to be honest, that looked pretty blatant like it may have been, a, a, you know, breaking the rules, but nothing happened. And Caras well, we got us yelling across the ring as he comes oh. out to start the round and, and takes it right to Maidana. And Soto Caras. We've had one knockout in our first fight, a fifth round teeter. Karas had come out with his assault. Suffered cuts, 
in both fights. Rosado midway through the round and the fight. A fantastic. He may have gotten hurt with a body shot or he may have just wanted to smother Soto Carras's work. And either Soto way, he didn't want to be there. Working the And there's a lead lead. A softball for Soto Carras. Now it is. Soto Carras, 29-year-old, 11-year veteran. Hey, this last minute's gonna decide the round for me, guys. I thought Maidana controlled the first minute, and Soto Carras roared back in the second minute. And it seems like this third minute, he's winning it as well. Soto Carras pounding away on Maidana in the corner. Fifth attrition. And now Maidana looks to come back in the final few seconds of what has been a terrific tilt here. That's Midway sure. through nice. this welterweight war, Soto Carras. You should know, huh? Two more fights still to come, including the main event, Canelo Alvarez and Jose Cito Lopez. Unofficial Showtime scoring. A very close fight, as you can see, indicated by our unofficial scores. A majority draw right now, and another point deduction. Kenny Bayless taking the point away from Maidana. Right hook. Now, you know, I think there's a point to be made here. Soto Caras is walking through a lot of my dog. 140 pounds. He hit guys like this, and they were either knocked out or running for their on their bikes. That is you know, so making a change in his professional career, hooking up with in Oxnard, California. That jars Soto Caras and lands a right hand. Still a long way to go in this match. Up until this point, Soto Caras cited wins over David Estrada in his first fight with Mike Jones as his best performance. He's back with a left hook. And another lead left hook, and while he's busy, oh, the right hand knocks down Soto Carras, and just like that, this fight turns on a dime. A mandatory eight count issued to Soto Carras, who is knocked down for the second time in his career, and Marcos Maidana. Only in the round, there was a point deduction. Mm -hmm against Maidana, and this I, oh, oh there, there, well, yes, sir, a low flow. <laughs> Maidana thinking that Kenny Bayless couldn't see it. That was tricky. Yeah, he Kenny said, take this with you before we break. <laughs> Trying to be a little cute. And then an overhand right by Maidana, actually a straight right hand. Remember I said straighten the right hand early in the match. Now, remember there was a point deduction, so I scored the round 9-8 for Maidana because of the deduction, but you see the combination punching of Maidana and this straight right hand. It's a straight one, and that's that was the difference. That made it powerful. And you know what? This is again the draining out the punches. That knockdown might not happen if he's throwing the old the old punches for Maidana. So right. Round eight underway of this oh. WBA title eliminator, and Maidana firing off the right hand, but Soto Caras valiantly trying to fight back gets hurt with the left hook. Maidana reinvigorated. And there's a straight right, doubling it up, and Soto Caras stumbling, oh, and eats another straight right hand. And another right hand that finds the head of Soto Caras, now beginning to take all kinds of punishment. Kenny Bayless steps in, Marcos Maidana wins via technical knockout. A terrific fight. Do you agree with the stoppage? Well, it's one that might be debated. Soto Caras was taking some punishment. His hands were up. Kenny Bellis was taking a long look at him. It's a very close fight, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. You know, it, from one end, you're thinking, how many punches is this guy going to yep. take? But at the same time, Maidana was taking the same kind of punches, you know? But, you know, could it have been just a momentum swing for the moment? Could he have let him continue? It's possible. You know, it's, it's debatable. We're not in the ring with the fighter. You know, Kenny Bayless has shown he's a, he's a great referee yes, through the years. It's, 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 it, it's tough to call, you know. He's the one inside the ring with him. I personally would have liked to see Soto Caras get a chance to continue just because he's had so many I tough think, breaks yeah, in his career. You're you know? right, Could, you know, with the performance here tonight, but safety first. And However, Kenny Bayless, one of the best referees in the business, stops the fight. Marcos Maidana picks up his first win at welterweight. And Soto Caras is not protesting that much. No. So maybe that's a sign that it was the right decision. It's possible. But I'll tell you another thing. Soto Caras was down in this fight. You can't, can't debate the knockdown this time. No. That's for sure. Well, we take a look at how Marcos Maidana turned this around after he had knocked Soto Caras down in the previous round. He went after him. He had him against the ropes. Big right hands landing. Now there's... Caras still trying to land with the right hook, but the right hands are raining down on him. 
Kenny Bell is taking a very close look at Katas. And steps in, feeling he had taken uh, enough punishment. A look from overhead, Polly, and we'll see if this is even more revealing. This is Maidana going for the kill. A nice double right hand there. Step back from the count, from the offense coming back, and a nice over the top right hand again. And he smelled blood and he went for it. Well, he's a finisher, Marcos Maidana, at any weight. And from yet another angle, those right, those right hands, and as I mentioned before, Kenny Bell is taking a very close look and staying close enough so that he can stop the action. Of course, that's what he's supposed to do. And it's you know, a judgment it, call. It's a judgment call, but he's still punching back. Well, it's, I it's tend hard. to agree with you, but yeah. it's it's tough to second guess. I, I never like I, ne I never like to Kattis stop a fight. Getting stopped for the second time in his career. Let's make it official with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 43 seconds in round number eight. Our referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical <laughs> intercontinental welterweight champion, Marcos El Chino.